What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tech 5. Now you are able to speak to Alexa about your finances. Capital One is helping Amazon Alexa enter into the personal finance realm. A quote from Ken Dunlin, Capital One's vice president and digital product management, told Matchable, quote, We are the first financial institution to provide account access on Alexa versus more general information, financial information. This represents a big step forward for the world of personal digital assistance. So far right now, Apple's Siri, Google Now, and Microsoft's Cortana have steered clear of accessing anything to do with money. The exception has been Amazon Alexa, which could already add stuff to your shopping list when you tell it to do so. Even so, this that was a step or two removed from your actual cash. The Capital One integration dives right into the do re mi. So basically what's going on is starting on Friday, current uh, Capital One customers will be able to add the Capital One skill via the Amazon Alexa app. You enter in your financial information and then you can ask Alexa on the Echo Tap or Echo Dot and Fire TV a series of questions that relates to your personal finances. Some of the examples are Alexa, Ask Capital One for recent transactions on my checking account. Alexa, ask Capital One, when is my credit card payment due? And another one is, Alexa, ask Capital One to pay my credit card bill. Uh, So it's not just any checking account and balances and paying your bills. You can actually use Alexa to pay your bills as well. So this is really cool, guys. This is becoming a more and more of a digital assistant with Alexa. It is getting really dope. It seems like every every few months or so, she's learning something new, which is really cool. So the Capital One first approached Amazon about working with Alexa a year ago and then used the Alexa skills kit to build this new financial integration. But there are obviously personal privacy and security concerns relating any of digital bank and account access. Security is first and foremost in our mind as we de- develop a new product, said Dub- said Dublin. Sorry if I messed up your name. He explained that the Capital One account info will remain encrypted so that not even Amazon can access it. So all your concerns and your worries about your security and your privacy is squashed. It's going to be real. The, the data you're going to put in it is going to be real encrypted. So no one can get it in. Not even Amazon has access to your information. So everything is all good. So you're good to go. So for for now, Alex will work with Capital One. Alexa will work with Capital One's consumer banking and credit card businesses. But there may be more to come. And another quote from Dunn says, it's great. It's a great set of initial use cases that will refine and expand over time. So we're in a really good step of actually having a legit digital assistant right here with Alexa and Amazon. So this is really cool. I've always wanted to tr- test it out for this for myself whenever I can afford to get the Echo and actually try it out for myself and have a real dis- uh, digital assistant in my home. And I would love to give this a try. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Leave it in the comments right down below and subscribe to my channel to see some more news and more videos. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Later.